So welcome again. I hope you are ready to start uh, building something nice with me. It's not going to be something huge, but I hopefully hopefully we will learn together something good. So I guess we we have already clarified why do we need uh, React Hook form. So I'm going to turn in this code to be using React Hook form. So I'm going to delete all these states. I'm going to be deleting the only change in the value, and I'm going to just do this for all of my inputs. It's not going to take a minute. Okay, one, two, three. Yes. Great. So I'm going to be doing this now. I'm also going to rename this function to maybe a register handler. I usually like to finish my functions with this name and I'm going to add it right here. Okay. And I'm going to also take this away and I'm going to take this event because I'm not going to need it. Uh, usually React Hook form does handle that event prevent default for you by default. So let's see how we're going to use it. So I'm going to be importing uh, from uh, I'm going to say RHF is gonna be given to me no okay wow it's a new machine so I don't really know why it's not giving me uh, suggestions but hopefully I'm gonna work on this soon okay so yeah form oh my bad so from and I'm going to be use form this is nearly the most uh, common hook we use from this package Maybe we can dive later. We we might dive later into different hooks, but this is the one I'm going to be using for now. So I'm going to be like const destructuring and equal use form. Use form uh, or the React hook form gives us a hook. So we have to use this hook inside a functional component, not outside the function and not in a class component. So uh, I'm going to be asking it to give me a register. I'm going to explain to you what each one of these do in a minute. Receipt, errors, and handle submit. Okay, so the handle submit is basically the main, uh, the handle submit and register are basically the two main components. The other two are optional, but I think for better UX and UI experience, we're gonna need both of them. There are different other options that we are going to dive through, but these are the four options that I'm going to need from this hook for now. So I'm going to use the handle submit. Now the handle submit, you wrap your own register handler or whatever the function name with that handle submit. How? Okay. As you can see, we have one submit. So we are going to use handle submit and open bracket, open close brackets. And inside of it, we are going to add the name of the function we use. Yes, it's, it might seem weird, but uh, it's just a function wrap in another function. And this uh, does uh, all the, sh the stuff we are going to be using. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. So, now the handle submit uh, gives you an object, passes an object to the other function named data. I'm going to name it data, and I think it's named data by default. I'm not sure, so to speak. And I'm going to just console the log uh, data. Now uh, let's see what will happen if we do this. I think nothing is going to happen. Maybe you get an error actually. Yes. Oh, okay. So uh, let me see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I need to get rid of this now. Okay. I don't think we will need this anymore. So yes. Okay, now I'm going to see my console. I click Control Shift I to just save some time. Uh, okay, so um, for example, I don't think anything is required, so I'm just going to submit. And as you can see, it's an empty object. Uh, nothing is there because we haven't given any uh, the React hook form any connection to our inputs. Like it, if you wrap your form like this, it's just not. It's not going to know what you want. So now you can realize I am given this uh, the name. Uh, for each uh, input. And I'm not just given the name because of the SEO or whatever uh, browser readers or uh, you know uh, other tools that might be needed, but it's very essential and are required. It's not an optional, it's a mandatory for React Hook Forum to work that the input you're going to be working with have a name uh, attribute. So now we are going to get the name and we are going to pass a ref and inside the ref we are going to pass this register we just worked with and this is just that like this is the basic functionality of it i'm just going to copy paste it basically because i'm too lazy to be honest to type it all these many times now let's see what will happen uh, nothing again is required so right here as you can see all of them are empty but here so now i'll just type it Nothing happened to my rendering. Uh, it didn't re render the DOM too many times. So I think this is a lot better performance. Uh, I hope you would agree with me. 
Uh, now let's type 25 for example. Oh uh, yeah, I'm too young. Okay, tests at testing.com. I don't know what the fuck is that. It's not testing, but it is a word. So I really have an issue typing a password inside a password. So maybe test one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm just gonna copy it because later on we are going to make sure before you can submit this form that the user have to type these two fields password and confirm password with the same thing. We are going to make sure that the user types an email, not just something like this because this is wrong. I know you can give it a type email, but no, we are going to have a very perfect validation with showing the user errors and these errors are going to be on real time so that if the user fixes the errors he will know he fixes errors before even having to submit again and if he had an error he will know before having to hit the button submit so it's going to be better than hitting the button submit and see that oh yeah the user is, should be uh, longer than three characters the email is not valid something like this it's going to be faster than this it's going to be better you will see so I'm going to hit submit and voila as you can see, you have the password, the confirm password, and the age and the username. All with one click, with one uh, with one function, with one hook, and not too many state. I'm not handling this much of state. I'm not re-rendering the DOM this many times, so to speak. So I'm not going to use this state anymore, so I'm not, I don't need it. I'm going to save, and this is just that. So I guess we will stop right here, and in the next lecture, uh, we are going to see how do we receive the form after uh, after we submit it, and we are going to dive a little bit into the validation. Okay, see you next lecture. Goodbye.